Welcome back. Well, in business tonight, Barbados's financial system is stable despite an extremely challenging domestic macro environment. That's according to the Central Bank of Barbados's acting director of research and economic analysis, Anton Belgrave. He made the comment as he recently revealed some of the findings of the bank's 2017 financial stability report. An assessment of the key risks, credit, liquidity, interest rate, and sovereign risks indicated that the system was generally stable and able to withstand a range of adverse shocks. Challenging economic conditions are likely to extend into 2018 with the continued efforts to strengthen our macroeconomic imbalances. And of course, we have the example of Barbados's debt restructuring. Longer term, we also face the challenge of the adoption of IFRS 9. So these structural changes will all impact the financial system and will all have an impact in terms of the outcome. And he says one of the newer tools they introduced in the report was what is known as a financial stability cobweb. He says it is based on six dimensions of risk. One of the newer tools we introduced was a financial stability cobweb. Now this is based, in this instance, it's based on about six dimensions of risk. And moving outward in the cobweb indicates increased risk. One of the more intriguing insights we have here is that if we use a 2000, 2009 as our baseline, we can see that based on that, the domestic environment in the um, column has shown no improvement since that time. In, in fact, it's, it's worse than every other um, variable has actually come in a bit. And this, this, um, this factor is actually repeated um, throughout a number of the subsequent indices we've also um, implemented. Fortress Fund Managers has been weighing in on the budget measures of the new administration recently passed in the lower house. In a statement on how the administration plans to tackle Barbados's debt, Fortress describes it as a bold and very public first step down a road that, if followed as part of a broad reform program, could lead to significantly improved economic performance in the coming years. Fortress adds that in the short run, however, it will almost certainly lead to permanent losses for current holders of Government of Barbados debt. Fortress says they have been concerned for the last several years about just such a development. The company says its Barbados funds have therefore been posi positioned accordingly with little or no exposure to Government of Barbados bonds, and that remains true today. Well, it's time now to take a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. In Jamaica, Carreras Limited was the volume leader with 1,630,116 units. They were followed by Sibony Group Limited and Visinco Group Limited. Over in Trinidad, Sajakor Financial Corporation Limited led trades with 145,000 330 shares changing hands for a value of $1,149,526.04. They were followed by NCB Financial Group Limited and JMMB Group Limited. And here at home, Cave Shepherd and Company Limited was the sole security trading 800 shares at $4.06 each.